Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and I just quickly wanted to go over a recent video that Sarasota Tim uploaded regarding a package that he received from a subscriber, and we know how Tim loves to be given gifts by his subscribers, but before we get that started, let me just make sure I bring up my fair use statements real quick because Tim could potentially be litigious and not like the fact that we're transforming his content and pointing out some of his more problematic behaviors. And again, even though I am a registered nurse with over 10 years of experience here in the United States and trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, these are my opinions and my opinions only. So I just wanted to make sure I brought that out real quick. Okay, Tim. So the word that I'm going to be using a lot, sorry, I always sigh with him because he's he's very exacerbating. The word confidence trickster, if you're not familiar with it, let me just bring up the um, the the meaning of it. And this is going to be another new little uh, soundbite from my um, channel, Tim. So thank you for that. Confidence trickster noun British, a person who tricks other people in order to get their money, con artist. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of, you know, my opinion about what's going on with Tim's long game here on YouTube. Uh, I don't want to seem like a hypocrite because I do also have a monetized channel and I do use this money to help me pay for a stream yard, YouTube premium, help with the internet in my house. I am a graduate student. I obviously, grad school is not cheap. I have been very happy with people who have sent me coffee donations through Buy Me A Coffee to help with purchasing my grad school books. So I I, I don't ever want to seem hypocritical that Tim has obviously got his channel and I have mine, but I'm not somebody who's trying to use a very seemingly, in my opinion, fake persona uh, for his gain and somebody who potentially is using religion uh, to help him get even more from his subscribers. So I just, I just want to point that out because it's difficult when you're calling somebody else out for their behaviors, but he really does have a lot that he gains from his subscribers where I would hope he would be getting these things more maybe from brand deals that he's setting up. So it's just interesting. Anyway, let me get into this video before I chat chat too much because I can get chatty. So let me bring me small. Let's make this video quick and let's bring Tim up. Oh, and I just have to say, just, just, just notice how he set the scene, okay? Because this is what a confidence trickster will do, a con man will do. He's got his little cross hanging back here. And it's it's very, very on purpose. This is not because this is this is a purposefully set up scene by Tim. And it helps him c continue with this persona. I'm a good Christian. I pay it forward. I do all these charitable acts. And in reality, we've never really seen him play it forward. We see other people paying for things for him. And he has a history of being quite vile around people. Uh, I saw one recently that Dino just posted where he was getting a massage from a local who had been through a devastating hurricane and he just said the most awful things about being cheap and not wanting to pay for stuff. So he's very cheap with his own money, extremely cheap, but he really likes everybody else's money in my opinion. Hey, how's it going everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from inside the crasher here at the Orchards RV park in New Harmony, uh, Utah, just South of Cedar city. I just got back from golfing and I had a notification a couple of days ago <clears throat> that a package mm. was going to be arriving. Okay. Okay. And I got to stop this. <laughs> Tim, stop coughing in your hands, please. As a healthcare provider, I will encourage you to cough, sneeze in the crux of your elbow. You have a habit of walking around stores and touching stuff. You were at the coffee station touching everything. You were slurping your coffee there. You need to learn either to wash your hands immediately after doing that or do it in the crux of your elbow, sir. Just basic hygiene and consideration to others to stop the spread of disease. And I didn't order anything <laughs> and they sent it. I thought it might, I, I didn't really check on the tracking number. I didn't know where it was going to go, if it was going to go to Boynton Beach or what, but I just didn't even imagine. So I just got through talking to very, very nice Miss Tally 
here that's the general manager at um, the orchards here. Mm. And she texted me and told me. Everybody is so nice because Tim is just such a wonderful person because he got to get out there and get that salesman schmarm out there constantly. Uh, he just reeks of car salesmen to me. So you were the, only the detailer. You just watched the other people and, and learnt your game, I'm guessing, in my opinion. Told me that I had a package. And so here it is. Check it out. A Prime from uh, Amazon. And you know what? It's just like during Christmas time. You can feel certain certain packages and you can almost, you know, guess what Look they are. Look how excited he so, is. Look how excited he is that he's, you know, pulling this con. And I just want to say there was a book called Confidence Tricks, uh, The Confidence Game, sorry, by an author known as Maria Konnikova. And I'll make sure I link these things down below. And it's a book that I'm fascinated to read just because I obviously am in the field of psychiatry. And she had noted that, and this is a direct quote from her, as humans, our desire to seem nice can lead us to being conned. So he has probably some very vulnerable, lonely, and potentially elderly viewers who their desire to be nice to Tim and support Tim and show him how much they support him and, and they're nice, you know, there's so many nice people doing so many generous things for Tim that it's leading them unreal, wittingly to be conned by this person because he has got a very interesting relationship between his subscribers and himself and how he meets his subscribers in person. He has them buy him lunch. He gets gifts from them all. And expensive gifts. He has people sending him hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars to buy him golf clothes from his buy me a coffee. It's all for Tim to just do Tim stuff. And like I said, I have people doing buy me a coffee. And as a graduate student, I am so appreciative of that. But hopefully... At the end of the day, my studies are going to lead to me being able to help a lot of people in the real world. And hopefully here on my internet um, channel, my, my YouTube channel, I should say, understand how charisma, cults of personality, manipulation, and so forth are used by people like Tim um to 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 get a greater gain at the end of the day so yeah all right keep going sweetheart i had no idea when i saw you know got notification that i was getting something what it could be i mean could it be um a bowling alley <laughs> you remember on the christmas story uh anyway you don't remember that movie oh, come on i'm sure you do anyway i think i know what this is and I think I know why I got it. That's how he tries to relate. He's trying to find some common ground with people. And the laugh is something I find disturbing. And I think I got to say right now before we even open it up. And and, and really, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to look silly if I, if I guess wrong. And I won't say what it is. I'll let you guys see it. But I think I know what it is. And I think that it's just awesome and just fantastic that people will just pick up on something that I say that I need, I want to get mm. and have the generosity. Yeah, because there's a reason for that, Tim. And you know what? I'm not even going to explain it. I'm going to let Judge Mathis do that. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this drive Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, Tim, you know what that is. You absolutely know what that is. And look up the address, knows where I'm at, and send me something so, so nice. This is going to be an heirloom. You're like, Tim, you don't even know what it is yet. I think I do. And guess what? It's heirloom for what family? I know you have children, but do you see them? Were they calling you on Father's Day? You have the audacity to call other people a deadbeat dad. In fact, you did it, I think, in your Crushing It for Christ or one of your videos on Father's Day. But yet you, in my opinion, from having heard about your history of child rearing, probably should be sitting at first place for the Deadbeat Dad Award. <laughs> so it, it's just amazing. It's amazing the lengths this individual will go just to, to, to 
line his pockets. How are you not with a brand deal to get them to send you items for your videos? Have, have no brand deals reached out to you? Well, I guess they can't reach out to you on a buy me a coffee. It's not small. I mean, it's, it's, it's the perfect one. Okay, folks, I'm going to tell you what I think it is. It's a book. And it's, it's got multiple books in it, like 66. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, he's just laughing because he's got tools for the confidence tricks to trade now. I'm sorry. I The person who sent this was nice. Tim is just going to use it for, for more personal gain. I'm sorry. I, I will die on this hill that he uses religion like a prosperity preacher. Oh, this is so exciting. Now, I wonder if I'm right, what version is it? Trying to sound like he knows something about the Bible. Well, it doesn't look like a King James. <laughs> That's fine. I, you know, however you choose to read it. I just, it's, this is the sort of thing that is personal to you. You're, and it should be just personal. So anytime people, in my opinion, use their religion, for gain, that's not, you're not a good Christian, Tim. There's so many behaviors that I have seen and even behaviors from your past that lead me to think you're not a good Christian. Dino, if you haven't checked out his channel, please do release a video showing how you were when you went to have, it was one, another one of your cruises and you were out on an island and you were getting a massage and from people that had been through quite a horrific hurricane. And you had no generosity of spirit. In fact, you told them you were cheap and you wouldn't pay for anything. That you are the type of tourist they probably just even, they just wish they hadn't even spoken to. You took the free massage and you had nothing to give but your small me, small Alex, small mouth, in my opinion. It was quite vile, actually. Check out that video. You'll see the real Wait, Tim. It's got... Not this fake Tim. It's the Bible. Like I want it. Mm. And I'm trying to see. What yeah, I know you wanted it because it helps you get your con game out there. Version it in is. In my opinion. I'm so excited about this. Mm. Yeah. I haven't had a hardback. Well, this is just easy. Uh, oh, did you have to stop yourself in the lie there? What hardback Bible do you have a copy of? Hardback? Uh, what are you talking about? You, we've never seen that. You've got the devotional book. He had to stop himself there because he wanted to like give out a lie, but he also knows he said he doesn't own a Bible. So he had to kind of stop himself in the lie there. You see? He, he's, he's a trickster. You just stay open too, look. Oh, yeah. This is the giant print. <laughs> I even need glasses to read that. And it is the um, please stop with the lie. English Standard Version, the ESV, one of my favorite versions that I read on my app. And it's um, I mean, it's gonna read some stuff back at the ESV. As I always say, there's nothing worse than a recovering alcoholic finding religion. It is the English Standard Version. My opinion. A Bible is a great choice for personal reading and study for private devotions and family prayer, and for teaching, preaching, and worship. And essentially, literally, literal translation. The ESV Bible combines word for word accuracy with reliability with readability Liter uh, literary excellence and depth of meaning more than 100 of the world's leading bible scholars and teachers are involved in creating the esv bible trusted worldwide the esv is a treasure for life well let me see of course mm. of course a gift for you enjoy your gift may god bless you from a subscriber in Tennessee. Oh, well, I'm so sorry that you got your seemingly nice gesture is going to be a tool for a confidence trickster because that's what he's going to use it for. He's trying to give out this persona. Oh, I'm such a good Christian. I pay it forward. Send me money to my buy me a coffee because I pay it forward. Well, come on now. I don't want to say because I don't want to say the wrong one, but I think I know. I really do. I really do. You, you're going to have to. You're going to have to share who you are. I want to really thank you so. Much. They don't want to share who they were because they were just trying to do a nice gesture, 
had they wanted you to know their name, they would have included it on the note. There's a reason why they haven't. One, you have a public platform on YouTube, and they also probably are aware there are commentary and reaction channels who look at your content and call you out on your problematic behavior. So you trying to push for this is again, you you just, you seemingly don't understand. They don't want their information shown. This is how I know you're not a good person at the end of the day, in my opinion. I know I have to keep saying in my opinion uh, for legal, but uh, you know, I won't divulge any of your personal information. I'll just give you a first name, but I mean, I don't want to, say what I want to say and it'd be somebody else because I have subscribers everywhere. But I think... Would it matter if it was a gift? Does it matter who it's from or where it came from or who gave it to you? I mean, in reality, this should have been not content and monetized. You should have had this as a private moment. But I, you know, I can understand. And then later on, you could have shown the Bible and the person would have seen it and they would have known you received the gift. But everything is is content. Every talking about it's just. I try not, like I said, to be hypocrite because I obviously, like I said, make money from my channel. But hope, and I get people buying me a coffee for grad school. But I hope at least I have a sense of honesty. I just don't think he's an honest person. He's had so many people just, just it's it's the grift that's killing me on this one. <laughs> I think Miss Deb the barber uh, lives in uh, Tennessee. But whoever you are, why are you doxing this poor individual? Why are you doxing them? Do you understand? They may not have want their name on the platform out there. Uh, please let me know. Thank you so much. And you know, I just can't wait. It's just something different about. And, and readers will tell you this. And I'm not an avid reader with like regular books, but readers will. I've heard them all say they get the Kindle. Oh, you should have seen me roll my eyes at that. Tim, that's okay. We know you left school at 16. But there's nothing better than a book, right? A, a book. And look, this opens up and stays open so easy. John yeah, because it's a better like tool to use when you're getting out with your con game and my thoughts allegedly. You know, it's not the same if you're just out with your devotional book or out with your app on the phone. It's so much better when you got this large item that you can show what a good Christian you are. Sorry, I just, I don't believe he is. Giant print, wanted to say thank you very much to you, uh, Tennessee subscriber. Uh, please let me know who you are. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to crush this. Yeah, no, you're not, Tim. You're just going to try to scam people probably out of something. Like, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me get this finished up. I try. I I just, I've been dealing with a lot of um, <laughs> people that are using their platforms to manipulate their audiences for gain. And I just am kind of um, a little feisty with it today. So I apologize if I just seemed that way. Anyway, if you did happen to like my review of this video, please subscribe. Please hit the likes. I certainly do appreciate it. And I did want to thank uh, my channel members. I, I, I'm very open. I have channel members. They help me get these messages across. I talk a lot of things around mental health and around uh, physical health as well. So I really do appreciate your support. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.